Across Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific, this is the week's Adventist News in Focus. Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Danielle Sinnott. First up this week, Kent Kingston reports from Solomon Islands. Just a couple of weeks ago, a remote clinic on the island of Columbungara was badly in need of repair. But thanks to an enthusiastic team of Australians, things are now looking a whole lot better. Through the Adopt a Clinic program, local churches in Australia and New Zealand are able to partner with clinics in rural and remote areas of the South Pacific to ensure they're kept up to scratch. Um, so it's actually pretty hectic. Um, we're all starting to get a bit like, oh my goodness, I'm ready for service. But yeah, no, it was really good. We actually accomplished a lot. Thanks to the team from the Hillview Adventist Church in New South Wales, the clinic at Kukundu is now painted inside and out and has a covered walkway between buildings. The, uh, the results and the impact of the Adopter Clinic has been enormous, has been amazing. Uh, churches uh, go there with their, with their teams, they come back different people, but then on ground uh, there's huge uh, impact in, in the life of the community. Pastors are just as likely to suffer from mental illness as their members, according to a Lifeway research survey commissioned by Focus on the Family. A quarter of the 1,000 Protestant pastors surveyed report personally struggling with a mental illness. What's more, 66% rarely or never mention mental health issues from the pulpit, and only 28% of church families are aware that churches have a list of mental health resources. So many ministers depressed, we think that's a surprise, but they're ordinary people and more than that they're people who are helping other people which is so draining. Emotional, mental issues, big issue and now our Adventist Health Department have actually voted recently that going forward this will be a special area of emphasis. Leaders of Christian denominations around the world are currently wrestling with the question of women's ordination. However, the president of the Seventh-day Adventist Church says members should look into what the Bible says about the topic for themselves. In a recent interview, Dr Ted Wilson also asked members to pray for God's guidance as the church looks to establish an official position on the subject at its general conference session in 2015. Earlier this year, biblical research committees of the Adventist Church's 13 administrative regions submitted their recommendations on women's ordination, with recommendations split. Despite the division, church leaders have clearly stated their willingness to accept the decision made by the worldwide church. A major evangelistic series in Vanuatu has yielded impressive results, with more than 2,000 people baptised at the conclusion of the campaign. Crowds of up to 12,000 people gathered in Port Vila during the three-week campaign, with many more tuning in to the series on free-to-air television, radio and online. Among those baptised were 18 low-risk prisoners who were allowed to take part in the baptism after following the series on Hope Channel. The Hope for Port Vila campaign was organised by the local mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. A reconciliation service was held during the revival meetings to welcome the Sorovango Breakaway Group back to the church. You can see more Christian news on this week's full half hour of In Focus, as well as these special features. Sue Rad fills us in on psyllium. So why just, use other mm. ingredients that don't add any value? Just add some psyllium. Mm -hmm. and, and enjoy make, life. And enjoy life and health. No. Are x-rays dangerous? They reckon that lifetime exposure from radiation ordered by the doctor mm -hmm. or the uh, radiologist um, can, can safely go up to 100. And that, in fact, equals about 10,000 chest X-rays or 25 CTs or CAT scans. And Ken spends time in the Solomon Islands. Well, I'm here in the beautiful Solomon Islands with an enthusiastic group of young people. Speaking of which, I'd like to introduce you to Trevor and Helen Oliver. How are you guys? Great. Right. Really well. If you'd like to watch any of those segments, follow the links on record.net.au or tune into our broadcast partners, Australian Christian Channel on Foxtel and Hope Channel or Digital 44 in Adelaide. Well, that's it from me. I'll see you next week on Adventist News. Take care and God bless.